Well, good morning everyone and welcome back to the MCM Outdoor Show. I'm going to do a very short unboxing video. Um, a new thing I've started looking at is vintage camping gear. and I've been searching eBay for cheap items of vintage camping gear. Items of camping equipment which I used when I was a kid, when I first started getting into the great outdoors. So I've amassed, well, I've got my first piece of equipment and I'm going to do a quick unboxing tell you a little bit about it, what I like about it, and then on a future video, you're gonna be seeing it, so let's get straight into the box. You've got to have a swig of coffee on an unboxing video, haven't you? Here we have the box. It's quite heavy. Let's see what's in this one. Let us get into there. So this almost brings a tear to the eye. Look at the condition that is in. It's a Camping Gaz Super Bluet Vintage Cooking Stove, Camping Stove. Comes in this sort of tin box. It's got a metallic clasp on the side. The whole thing has got this carry handle on the top. And I had, when I first started getting into camping, my dad got one of these. And I'm gonna show you inside it in a minute, but I saw it, I saw it on eBay. I got this for 10 pounds, an absolute bargain. The condition it's in, they're usually totally rusted up and dented up. And this is in near mint condition. I think this goes back to the 70s, and it just invokes memories of, you know, when we first started going. With my dad, you always look back to those days and, and enjoy it, don't you? So let's have a little look inside. Even the clasp is in great condition. The spring still works. And it's it's not rusted at all. So let's have a little look inside. So it opens out like a book. You get this, which folds down. And you open this side. The condition that this is in is amazing. And literally, I've got a big massive smile on my face because I'm just remembering being a kid and going camping with my dad. Look at that. Safety instructions printed on the on the side, on one of the side panels. And this also obviously acts as a windbreak. You close the doors in like so. The stove base is going to sit on there, although it's been so long, I don't remember. I think it was like 13, 14 over nearly 25 years ago when I had a look at one of these. So let's look at all the parts inside of it, what we get. So we've got the original instruction manual, a bit, a bit of French, I can think it's a French brand. Look at that, that is absolutely great. It's not torn. There's the GB instructions, little diagram there. Obviously this uses the old type of gas cartridges which you can't take off once you've pierced them and um, that's it. But we've got the original packing cardboard, still in great condition. It's not bent, torn, frayed, it's absolutely mint. And then, look at that, I don't even think it's been used. Let's have a little look. Look at that, this is just mega. The original plastic on the drawstring has actually got a gas cartridge in there by the looks of it. The camping gas sticker on. This is just absolutely perfect. And there you have it. Look at that. A mint condition. 70s camping stove. Oh, why am I getting so excited about this? It's insane. Let's just see if there's any gas in it. You get these four arms that just fold out. That's probably the original elastic band as well. These fold out. The burner head looks in great nick there. It's a little bit loose, let's just make sure that's screwed on. Oh my God, it's got gas in it. Right, let's uh, think safety. Look at the base of it though. That moves across. It's obviously hand ties on. That just makes sure it's not gonna go anywhere. 
Anyway, I'm going to just get a match out and light this now. This could be uh, blow myself up. Let's make sure that's screwed on there. Let's let's see if it works. Let's see if she sings. So what happens is this base goes onto there, slides along, and you just use close these around as a windshield. That is just mega. I'm absolutely bewildered at at the condition that's in. It's just in mint condition. I'm going to see if it works. If, I, if I'm being sensible, I should have done this outside for the first light, but hey, we're going to live dangerously. You only live once, don't you? Let's see what happens. One times match. Whoa. She sings, everyone. She sings. <laughs> Wow, I am so pleased with that. The sound of it. There's no clogged burner holes on the jet. Look at that. Well folks, I hope you enjoyed that short unboxing video. Like I say, that is just nostalgia in a metal tin. I was really lucky, you know, like most people, have a little browse on your phone before you go to sleep. And I was looking on eBay, um, keep me eye on the, the used camping um, sections, and I saw that, and that is the stove. That was the bread and butter, beans heater rupper. That was, you know, literally beans, hot dogs, memories of camping trips with my dad um, when I was a kid, and I'm, I'm so glad I've got that. I was really, really lucky to pick up one in such good condition. It's in perfect nick for 10 quid as well. Absolute bargain. Um, so yeah, if you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Uh, it's only a small gesture, but it really, really helps the channel. If you do like our content, please consider subscribing to MCM Outdoor Show. There's plenty of stuff in the back catalog and check out our main playlist. We've also got a Facebook group which is closed, which you need to ask to join. Uh, it's full of like-minded people. You've got a wealth of knowledge between us. And if you've got any questions about the great outdoors, any questions about gear, or you want some advice, really friendly group, and we all help each other out in there. So come ahead, come along and join us. Um, I'm also on Instagram and Twitter at MCM Outdoor Show. Stay tuned for more unboxing videos. I'll be trying to get some more vintage camping gear. I hope you like this unboxing video. Stay tuned for more in the future. I'm gonna be looking to get more items of vintage and retro camping gear um, going into next year, 2020. I'm gonna try and get some um, camping gas uh, lanterns. So thank you very much for watching. I do really appreciate it. I'd appreciate it if you subscribe, like I say, and I will see you on the next video. I've got some walks planned and I'm hopefully going to get another wild camping before uh, Christmas. Hopefully we're going to get some bad weather and snow. Hashtag write your own adventure. Get yourself outdoors. Go and enjoy it and all the benefits it has to bring. See you on the next video.